My lords, His Majesty the King, in his humble address, spoke about the situation in Gaza and the issue of Palestine. The spirit and the tone of His Majesty's reference to this horrific situation is highly appreciated by millions of people around the world. The world has been watching some of the most horrific signs, the scenes of human tragedy unfolding in Gaza for nearly 300 days, and the death toll exceeding 39,000, with more than 90,000 injured, a vast majority of them being women and children. As a result of Israeli invasion, according to the UNICEF, one child is either killed or injured every 10 minutes in Gaza. A few days ago, 22 people were killed by Israeli airstrikes on a UN-run school. This is one of the many such attacks on or near a school in recent days. Those who survived the bombings are at a severe risk of disease and malnutrition against the backdrop of medical system that has been largely destroyed by the Israeli military action. While the Israeli military action is still going on, adding more and more to the misery, devastation and death toll, there is further risk of rapid increase in deaths due to polio uh, uh, epidemic found in the area. The medical journal Lacant estimates the number might reach as many as 186,000. At this time of the dire need of help of people of Palestine, I welcome the restoration of British funding to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency that is providing most essential life-saving food and medical aid in Gaza. Whilst all eyes are on uh, ongoing deaths and suffering of the Palestinian people in Gaza. I'm also very concerned about the rising tide of settlers' violence and expansion in the West Bank. Can the Minister tell the House what steps His Majesty's Government is taking to stop this, expanding, to stop this expanding and turning it into a Gaza-like situation? My Lords, this human catastrophe must end now. The British Government could help stopping uh, arms to, uh, sales to Israel and work with our partners for an immediate ceasefire. Every effort needs to be made for the humanitarian aid to reach the people of Gaza and the safe return of hostages. The time has come for the international community to pull together and act on a long-term peaceful and viable solution for the people of Palestine and Israel and that is a two-state solution. To signify our commitment to a two-state solution, we need to recognize the Palestine state on 1967 borders, now as Ireland, Spain, and Norway have already done. Will the noble Lord, the minister, give an indication of the time frame for the British government to recognize free state of Palestine? The International Criminal Court has issued arrest warrants against Netanyahu, Gallant and Hamas leaders. In his response, can the minister clarify the British government's position, how it intends to help in upholding the international law?